KCSE Chemistry Paper 2 The year is 2019 Question number 2 Testing on the metal zinc Welcome Part A Zinc occurs mainly as zinc blend Name one other or from which zinc is extracted? The answer here is calamine for one mark. Part B, study the flow chart in figure two and answer the questions that follow. So in figure two, we have zinc blend which we all know is actually zinc sulfide being roasted here. Roasting actually means we are burning it in oxygen and then we are able to get zinc oxide and some sulfur for oxide gas. Once we obtain our zinc oxide, we take it to the blast furnace where we mix it with coke and limestone. Once the blast furnace processes have taken place, slag leaves, molten lead leaves, and zinc as well. The zinc is led to a condenser where we introduce molten lead and then directed to a distiller. So the first question is asking us to write an equation for the reaction which occurs in the roasting chamber. And as we have agreed a few moments ago, in the roasting chamber, we are burning our zinc blend in excess oxygen. And we are able to get our zinc oxide and some sulfur for oxide gas. We balance with a 2 on sulfur 4, a 2 on zinc oxide, a 3 on oxygen, and another 2 on zinc oxide. This is for one mark. And of course, we shall look at the state symbols and whether the symbols have been joined or not for you to score the one mark. Next question, describe the process that takes place in the blast furnace for three marks. Students, the processes that take place in the blast furnace are so many. I have about seven, but for this part, because of three marks, a student was supposed to just mention three for one mark each. So let us go through the seven processes to help us in doing our revision. So the first process is that limestone, which you can also call calcium carbonate, decomposes. Calcium carbonate or limestone decomposes to form calcium oxide. Of course, with some carbon-4 oxide as well. The second process that takes place in the blast furnace is that carbon is oxidized to its oxide, this time carbon-4 oxide. Third step is that the carbon-4 oxide is reduced is reduced by cork to form carbon-2 oxide. The fourth process that takes place is that zinc oxide is reduced to zinc metal. And this reduction is by carbon-2 oxide. Fifth, remember our zinc blend normally has some galena in it 
So, some traces of lead oxide will also be there in our ore. So, any lead oxide that is present is also reduced to lead. And you can see even from our scheme that molten lead is also leaving our blast furnace. Sixth process is that calcium oxide, having been obtained from the composition of limestone, this will react with silica. This reacts with silica to form calcium silicate. To form calcium silicate. And then the last process that happens here is that the calcium silicate formed, calcium silicate formed, dissolves. It dissolves in the impurities. It dissolves in the impurities to form slag. So, all these processes summarize what is happening in the blast furnace at this point. So, the next question is asking us to explain why molten lead is added to the condenser. So, molten lead has the function of preventing reoxidation, preventing reoxidation of zinc. There is an option of also telling us that molten lead acts as a coolant. Remember, zinc gets out of the blast furnace in vapor form and then it leaves the condenser in liquid form. So again, molten lead would act as a, something that condenses, condenses, condenses zinc vapor to zinc liquid. The question is asking us to state only two uses of zinc. Zinc has quite a number of uses. One is to make the alloy brass. Two, we can use zinc to galvanize iron. And I believe you know what galvanization means. We also use zinc as negative, negative terminal in dry cells. So you are asked to, you pick any among the three that we have given. Second last question is about reason why extraction of zinc causes pollution to the environment. And here, again, we have several reasons. One being formation of galleys. Two, we have the fact that lead itself is poisonous, leading to lead poisoning. We also obtain sulfur four oxide gas from the process and again we know sulfur four oxide is also another very poisonous gas. And on the same breath, sulfur four oxide is also a, cause, a causing uh, agent to acid rain. And this acid rain we actually understand its effects in the environment. Another reason is that there would be global warming and global warming is because of carbon four oxide being produced. Again, we have noise pollution from extraction of zinc. We also have dust, stroke smoke, pollution, and we also have slag poisoning or rather polluting the environment. All these would be the reason why extraction of zinc causes
pollution of the environment. Lastly, we were told to explain the observations made when zinc metal is added to hot sodium hydroxide. One of the observations would be that zinc dissolves to form a colorless solution. Zinc dissolves to form a colorless solution. So why is this so? This is so because zinc reacts with sodium hydroxide to form what we call zincate. So that is one of the observations that you make when you put zinc in hot alkali. The second observation would be that bubbles, we are able to see bubbles of a colorless gas. And why we are able to see bubbles is that, remember our sodium hydroxide is hot, which means there would be production of some steam. So zinc would react with the steam to form hydrogen gas. So these are the possible two observations. Of course, the observation one mark and the reason one mark. So a student had those two options, either telling us that zinc dissolves to form a colorless solution or bubbles of a colorless gas would be seen. We have come to the end of questions from the year 2019 KCSE paper 2 in which zinc metal was tested. We thank you for your support and we ask you to continue keeping it the Kenyan teacher. Thank you.